Hello and welcome to Core Finance. It is Friday. I'm joined down the line by Ryan Littlestone, who is a trader at uh, ForexFlow.live. Ryan, thank you very much for joining us today. And we're going to look at two currencies, starting off with the Kiwi dollar. Yeah, it's uh, in a bit of an uh, air pocket at the moment. We've had a big level down, uh, 68.15. Um, it's been a, a strong double bottom, and, and we've seen that break, and there were a few stops running that. Um, it's one of these levels that uh, once it cracks, there's there's not a lot underneath. Um, maybe a little bit of traffic around uh, 67.50, 30 odd, uh, but otherwise uh, we could see this push down to the low 67s pretty quickly. Yeah, it's been one of those currencies. I mean, it's been a, a clear trend. We've we've spoken about it before. Um, really, a lot of a lot of downside. On this, are you are you short into this? Have you been following this trend down, or or what? what what's your kind of trading position on this? Well, I've been watching. The, it's been around sort of 68, 15, 20, that sort of area that, that's been the solid support. So I've been I've been looking at that level, um, seeing how it reacts for the, for the possibility of going long. But what I didn't like, I looked at it uh, yesterday. I, I just haven't liked the bounce that we we've, we've had from it last time. Um, so when, when you see a, a weak bounce from a, a particularly strong level and we come back to it quickly, you've got to have a lot of caution. So I, I didn't do anything there, but now we've, we've got the break. What I want uh, to see now is, a, is confirmation of that break. And we're already seeing um, 68 becoming resistance. And, you know, if you get it to 68, 68, 20, then, then that's the sort of level I'll perhaps look to short it, um, you know, testing that break to see if it's a real break. And if that level holds, then uh, you can get into short, you can keep it fairly tight, um, you know, stop somewhere maybe 68.40. And uh, if the level holds, then, then again, you're going to see it push all the way back down to uh, 67 and, and perhaps more. And you can, you can nurse the trade down and, and see how it goes and see how much you can get out of it. Good stuff. And moving on now to dollar yen, uh, a favourite of ours. Where, where are we going here? Um, uh, you know, we've talked about being stuck in a range, maybe looking to break out, uh, a bit of a false dawn uh, for the dollar yen. Are we are we heading back down now? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a great chance that we head back down. Um, I, I started getting a bit, uh, the old spidey said, started twinging <laughs> the other day, um, and I was, I was starting to get very bearish on, on this pair. Um, you know, we've, we've got a Fed hike coming, we've got the tax news passing, and here we are lower. Um, and that's a, that's a big signal because a lot of people are expecting, you know, the market to rally on Fed hikes, the market to rally on Trump's great tax plan. And here we are lower. Uh, we had a break the other day. I mean, we, we are following what's happening in Japan a lot because, the, you know, there's signals, signs over there that their stock market uh, perhaps is hitting a potential top. Um, but you never know with these things. It could just be a temporary blip. But we seem to be taking a, a leaf from that book. Um, and we broke down through... Uh, significant area at uh, 113.20 the other day, um, all the way down to 112.50, couldn't hold that back again. But here we are, you know, the, the, the gains that uh, the pair's making every time it dips and we trace is, is getting lower and lower. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're pivoting around that 12.50 area, um, which has been a, a it's been one of those funny levels that's, that's played up for several years now. You know, if you look at your charts going back, you can see that 12.50 is at a, the same thing is going back, but generally, I think I think we are going to see a, a test of the low end of the range, and that could be anywhere down to 110, even 108, because um, we've got that as we've spoken about before that long period of consolidation between the 114s and the the 108s, and uh, you know if if we can't break the high side, then you're going to test the low side. Um, so have some patience. You know you can I think it's a it's a sell rally at the moment, and uh, let's see where it goes. And you mentioned the the stock market, and there had been a divergence away. I mean, usually uh, the the Nikkei and dollar yen, you, you can see there there is movements in lockstep, and there had been that divergence away. Maybe the Nikkei got carried away, and, and now is 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 pulling back. Uh, what other indicators will you look at when you're trading dollar, dollar yen? Will you look at the the uh, differential in the 10 year, what, what are the kind of key levels, or is it a purely dollar yen play technicals? Because this is, you know, huge for technical analysis when it comes to this currency pair. Really, you know, you can you can look at too much sometimes. Um, you know, if I'm looking at, if I see uh, a big move in, in 
dollar yen and yen pairs in general. You know, you've got to look around, see what the Nikkei's done, mm-hmm. um, see what the safe haven trades have done. Um, and yeah, you look at uh, US 10 year uh, yields, that's that's the best proxy. Um, you know, once again, we failed up at 2.4%, mm-hmm. um, back down again. And, you know, again, you're seeing some weakness in, in the dollar and in, in this currency dollar yen. You know, it's... It's one of those questions where, you know, which tail is wagging which dog and you can mm-hmm. get tied up in, in looking <laughs> at Nikkei and yep. saying, right, that's down, I'm going to sell dolly yen. So you, you've, got to, you've got to have a rough idea in your mind where the strong correlations are. You know, one day it might be the Nikkei, one day it might be US bonds, one day it might be, you know, whatever, just yen in general. Um, you know, and that's the why it's easy to look at the technicals because no matter what's going on, you've got a technical picture you can lean against the levels that you want to lean against and, uh, you know, you trade accordingly. If, if, if it's a strong level, then you have some faith in it. If it's a minor level, you keep your trade pretty tight against it. Um, so trading-wise, um, you know, as I say, you can get tied up too much in, in looking at 100 different things other than the market you want to look at mm-hmm. uh, for a reason why it's going to move. So, you know, you stick to a chart, stick to the levels. If the levels don't break, then it doesn't matter what the other markets do. And finally, Ryan, uh, obviously it's Friday, the end of the week. Um, are you looking ahead at next week? Is there anything jumping out at you that uh, you want to focus on next week? Or is it a case of just get through this week, shut up shop and, and start afresh next week? Yeah, you always get that feeling on a Friday afternoon. Uh, you know, Later on, you just want to shut it up and uh, enjoy the weekend. But uh, I think uh, one of the things to keep an eye on is perhaps the, the, the German uh, coalition talks. Um, continuing today and into the weekend. Um, you know, as, as we saw last week uh, in the pound, we had some headlines, you know, plenty of headlines about Theresa May and Brexit, uh, and that uh, hit the quid. Um, I don't think the coalition talks are, are that big a deal for the market at the moment, um, but if there's a collapse in the talks, then uh, that's that's a negative for the euro, and possibly that could see uh, a sell-off as we open on Monday. Um, conversely, I think we, we might get a, a small knee jerk if, if they manage to nail things down and uh, finally put a government in place. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the, the near term focus uh, of mine into the week, into the, into the new week. Good stuff. Well, uh, hopefully you enjoy your weekend. Viewers, look out uh, or check out the Euro for news flow from the German coalition uh, talks over the weekend. But on that note, Ryan, from Forex Flow. Thank you very much for joining us here today on Core Finance and have a great weekend. And you, Matt, thanks.